Oh, hello everybody, and Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Today I'll be opening letters that uh, many of the people on this show have received so far, so let's, let's peep this up. I have a letter addressed to Joe from Joe's Ads here. It says it's from William, so let's, let's, let's check it out. He says, you suck fat fuck. Oh boy, you're, you're on the naughty list, I'll, I'll tell you that. Okay, so we have another letter here from uh, Gaming Laptop, addressed to Joe from Joe's Ads once again. Wow, this kid is getting popular. Gaming Laptop says, do you have sex with a child or some shit, brother? Report date December 24th, 2017. A close neighbor informed the authorities of hearing loud screaming like sounds from inside the house to their right. Officer Dankins and Officer Claire were sent to inspect the scene. What they found was shocking. There is blood on the kitchen counter which traces to the hallway. There is water mixed with dirt on the ground. A knife covered in liquid lays before a closed door with the reef hanging onto it. The washroom is clean, says Denkin's report. They opened the door and found what appeared to be an adolescent's room. It was messy and hadn't been clean in at least a week. A studio microphone, tripod, and portable computer were found on a desk. The real horror was inside the closet. A young man that had been tied up laid on the floor. He was stabbed 24 times in the stomach, neck, and back. He was dead, says Denkin's report. The officers assumed the boy had been murdered with a knife found in the hallway, but after further inspection, specialists came to the conclusion that it was not the case. It was a much larger knife, and he had died nearly five hours before being stabbed. The neighbors who had called informed that the adolescent who lived there ran away right before the officers had arrived. The knife and him were never found. 